Welcome to this Windows channel and today in the little tips and tricks episode we're going to show you how to actually have autoplay of content on a USB thumb drive or a memory card. Now this is one of the questions that a lot of people have been asking me. They insert a USB drive, they insert a memory card in computer, nothing happens. So you've got autoplay in Windows 10 that helps with this and hopefully this is one of the ways that it can fix that problem. Now one of the things you need to know is when you insert a USB thumb drive or a memory card in the file explorer when you go to this PC you should see it appear in here. So for example I will enter uh, insert a USB thumb drive and in this USB thumb drive is of course a copy of Windows 10 to install but whatever there is on it uh, usually when you actually do this you should see appear the thumb drive so here I plug it in and wait a few seconds and here you see that my thumb drive is right here what's called ESD ISO this is my thumb drive if you insert a memory card, you'll see the same thing happen. It's like a drive. So you need to make sure that it appears because if it doesn't show up here, it will not work because it just doesn't actually show up in the computer. And you know what? The problem is somewhere else. Um, if nothing happens, then there's something wrong either with the USB thumb drive or maybe your USB ports. Uh, drivers, it could be uh, the memory card reader and so on. So make sure that if nothing happens that you at least see it here. If you can see it there then it's probably an autoplay problem. So you can go into the search of Cortana type autoplay and you'll see here autoplay settings and system settings. You can also go into the settings at the notifications on the bottom right. Go into all settings Go into devices and you'll see the same autoplay feature on the left. Here it says removable drive, take no action. You can click here and say, okay, open folder to view files. Ask me every time. Configure the drive for backup or configure storage settings. So for example, if I want to just view the files, I'll click here. And let's try my thumb drive a second time. Normally, with that setting, you'll see that there's a difference. Instead of just showing up in File Explorer, it's going to pop up a window showing me the files. And here you go. So this is autoplay of whatever you want to plug in. So like that, you can actually choose what you want to see, what you want to do with the drive. Now, let's go back into the settings, devices, and autoplay. Removable drive, you can also click and at the bottom there's uh, related settings that says default app settings. That also is something that can affect what is going to happen with your drive. Now for the memory card, here it says import photos and videos. If it's photos or videos that you have on it, because most of the time memory cards come from digital cameras or phones. Um, but you can also, of course, import media files, import photos, videos, play Windows with media, Windows Media Player, um, take no action, open folder to view files, or ask me every time. So you need to set the correct setting here and just make sure that autoplay for all media and devices is switched on. That's very important. So this is pretty much how it happens. Um, if you've seen your device in the file manager with this PC, then go and play with the settings here. It's probably just a question of settings, depending on what you want to do. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, maybe you have problems, why not share it with us and we'll try to help you if we can. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. They help us in the ratings on YouTube. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos and we'll come back.